Hey, 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 Leo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Thursday. Tomorrow, Thursday already? Shit. Thursday, May 7th to the 8th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Leo, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the info is in the description box below. So let's get to it, Leo. What's going on for my Leos? I'm going to grab four cards here. Then I'm going to get a message channeled from Spirit just for you. One more card for Leo. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. I like it. Ooh, we got five cards here, Leo. Ah, and the Empress. Looky, looky. Two of Swords. Star card. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, let's get this message, Leo. See what's up for you guys. <laughs> I'm hearing live like there's no tomorrow. I feel like for you Leos, whoever this is resonating with, you're you're having fun in the now and they're reminding you keep that energy, keep like keep that flow going, especially now. This will exercise your mind, they're saying. And your soul. They're showing me um, just you smiling. They're showing people smiling. Okay, Leo. The Emperor, the Empress, and the King and Queen of freaking Pentacles. Are you kidding me, Leo? What is going on here? I feel like... For you guys, you're the empress. Now, this could be masculine or feminine. It's just the expression that you have right now. And the empress is the queen of all queens, right? She's the shit. She is intuitive. She is soft and endearing and loving and in touch with nature, in touch with people, very connected. To, to everything around her. That's Taurus and Libra, right? But not only that, like Taurus is concerned with the tangible, right? Uh, the earthly things. Libra is all about mind. They're both about beauty. But because she's the culmination of all of the queens, her appreciation runs far and wide. It stretches beyond. Now, the two of swords across from the star card... Okay. For some of you, this empress could be your mother or father. Again, it's just feminine energy. We have both within us. Because I'm feeling this queen and uh, king of pentacles is a couple. You may be doing some healing with this queen of pentacles. And if this is the case... You're trying, you're, tr you're really trying to open up your heart and not block it off, right? But, all right, I'm going to clarify. Because I feel like there's something you're not seeing, but we'll see. Who is this Empress? Five of Cups. Ooh. This is somebody that you're sad about. I hate to say this, and I feel this already happened. This could be a parent that passed away.
and your oh, this is similar to Aries where Aries was um, really trying to avoid their emotional states by jumping into like devilish energy right with you you're doing sort of the opposite sort of I guess you're jumping into oh let's just laugh and have fun which is good because Spirit's saying, be in the now, but don't do it out of avoidance, like permanently. To avoid for a little is okay, but you can't avoid it forever, right? Or else it'll, it'll fester and it'll come in, yeah, see, strength. And it'll create something else. It'll create a whole new energy that you don't want. Tell me about the two of, that's Leo energy, that's your energy. The two of swords, yeah, two of pentacles. So you're trying to maintain your balance in the midst of this grief with the five of cups and empress here. Okay, I'm so sorry for your loss, for whoever this is resonating with, because I do feel, uh, and now they're showing me, Okay, they're showing me the emperor alone. Okay, tell me about this star card. Oh my God, it's been so emotional lately. It's crazy. I mean, crazy good. Seven of wands. What are you protecting here? What do you think you're defending? Oh, <laughs> you're fighting off this healing, see? All right, the universe is trying to say heal. You're fighting it. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. I feel like it's this King of Pentacles parent. Six of Pentacles, this is Libra energy. Here we have balance again. This threw you off balance. This threw you off balance. So now it's like your focus, you've lost focus. It's like your attention's here, your attention's there, your attention's here. This, this is why they're talking about the now. But you keep doing this. It's, it's deliberately uh, changing your focus to avoid this feeling. Interesting with you fire signs. All right, tell me about this. Um, tell me this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is a husband, a wife, somebody that you're living with, a long-term relationship with. Could be a Cancer or a Pisces. You're hiding this from this person. You're hiding this grief. I think they know. It's the Queen of Pentacles, Leo. Come on. Yeah. You're hiding this um, anxiety. And it's actually making them a little bit anxious because they're not sure what you're going to do with this grief. They want to help you, but they don't want to force you. Yeah. King of swords. They want to help you through this, right? So they're trying to think rationally, but it's, it's making them anxious because they don't know how to handle you with handling this situation. Wow. So what is Leo's advice? You have to let it go. You have to, well, before you let it go, you have to acknowledge it, okay? You could feel a sense of betrayal, like how dare you leave, right? I mean, this is going to be different for everybody, but I have to tell you what I'm feeling. I'm feeling somebody lost somebody who was an empress. Now, this could be a grandmother. This could be a mother. Anybody who you think doesn't even have to be blood-related, right? If you were that close and it was an empress in your life, or an emperor, it doesn't matter, the gender, then you, you feel like, why did they leave? How dare they leave, right? Or you could feel betrayed, they're saying, by whatever took them. Like, um, like say, if it was what's going on now, you could feel betrayed by that specific uh, virus, right? Um, if it was cancer, it's like you're, you're, you're blaming, mm, well, not blaming. This is something that you're feeling, but you're trying to avoid it. So the advice here is to feel these swords as much as they hurt, feel them, but then let them go. 
one more. Yeah, listen to information that's coming from spirit. If you, my suggestion would be to meditate because spirit is trying to um, send you messages that you need to hear that will help you through this. At the bottom of the deck, you have the four of swords. Yeah, well, meditate, like I just said. That's what I'm feeling from this. All right, Leo. Again, I'm sorry for your loss, whatever, who, whomever this is to you. Um, I'll send you Reiki healing energy, Leo. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe right down below if you already haven't. I do appreciate it. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. You have yourself a fantastic day, Leo, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.